I'm so honored to be receiving the award Women Leading for Change in Technology for Development. I'd really like to thank the Engineering for Change organization in the American Society for Mechanical Engineers. I remember when we started working with our first true ICT for Development project in 2007, and that was with the Millennium Villages. And we had this idea, what if we brought mobile communication into these villages to look at what would the impact be on education, on healthcare, on livelihoods in general. And at that time, people thought it was a totally crazy idea. This year, we're celebrating 10 years of engagement in the Millennium Villages project, and it's really become a model for how to work with IC for development, not just for Ericsson, but for many of our peers in the industry as well. If we look back in time around the year 2000, there were about 750 million mobile subscriptions. If we look at where we are today, there's more than 7 billion mobile subscriptions. But going forward, we estimate from Ericsson that by 2020, more than 90% of the world's population will be covered by mobile broadband networks. So the scale of the technology is and the pace of technological change is unprecedented. And so within Ericsson, one of the initiatives that I've been driving is our company purpose and to make sure that we actually drive technology to be a force for good in the world. So the possibilities are really endless in terms of what um, technology can bring for sustainable development. So I want to thank everyone again and uh, look forward to see what the next 10 years will bring on ICT for development.